A turbulent week for Australian soccer. The tug of war over Mark Viduka has taken a new twist. Australia's top scorer has been advised to take a six-week break from the, from the game because of an injury above the back of his left knee. But Viduka, the hottest prospect in Australian soccer, has been chosen to uh, lead the 18-man youth squad on a six-game tour of Europe. The team assembles in Sydney on Tuesday. On top of that, his club, the Melbourne Knights, didn't want him to head off to Europe, but the Australian Soccer Federation has warned that any club refusing to release its players would pay a harsh penalty. And now Mark Viduka will play against West Adelaide today against medical advice. Mark joins us this morning from our Melbourne studio along with Knights President Angie Simita. While in Sydney, National Youth Coach Les Scheinflug is in the studio along with Johnny Warren and Mike Cockrell. We'll cross uh, straight down to uh, Melbourne and uh, first and foremost, Mark Viduka, it must be uh, the most traumatic time of your life I would think, Mark. Yeah, it has been. The last last week has been really tough for me, and um, I just I just want to concentrate on playing soccer and playing for Australia <coughs> in this next tour. And um, I hope that could, I, I don't know, everyone can leave me alone and just get my you know mind on the game. But what about this latest twist, Angie? Uh, he's playing against medical advice, and I understand that there will be uh, another check made on Tuesday when he assembles in Sydney. Uh, actually, Andy, good morning. Uh, he's not playing against the medical advice. The advice is that uh, he's got a calcium build-up. Now, if he doesn't train and he only plays once a week, uh, the problem won't get any worse and he might finish the season off. But that's the way it's got to be. He can't train at all during the week. He can only play. Um, the more he trains, the more he uh, plays, the worse the problem gets and then it might lead to an operation. How, how do you feel, Mark? Is the injury as bad as, uh, as what Angie's telling us? Uh, it's not that bad at this stage, but um, we don't want it to get worse. If, if I um, play on it more and more blood gets into that area, um, it could get really bad and uh, I'd be out for about six months. Well, Mark, Mike Cockrell here. What about uh, the prospect of the Tour to Europe then, if you do go? Will you be uh, fit enough to participate in all the games or not? Um, I, I wouldn't know because I don't know the, the itinerary for that the tour yet but um, I think that if I go I'll have to have a like a reduced training schedule and um, just like play on the games. Angie Johnny Warren what uh, how long have the clubs known that this tour was on was it uh, like pre-season did you, were you aware that there was a commitment with the young Socceroos or is it only recent? Uh, John uh, actually we knew Mark was going about two to three weeks ago uh, there was only speculation uh, before three or four months uh, when Mark went to uh, Venezuela after that tour, they were talking about a tour in, in March. But that was only speculation. There was nothing uh, firm or confirmed about that. Only to about the last two weeks when we uh, got a let, received a letter saying that Mark Viduka will be required. Angie, Mirko Buzic was saying in the press that he didn't want uh, Mark to go and he was going to push really hard to prevent him going. Uh, is that stand still there by uh, Mirko and the rest of you down there at uh, the Knights? Well, we're very disappointed, uh, Andy. The fact is uh, the, the tour is, is uh, timed at a very, very crit critical stage. W nobody, especially down at uh, Melbourne Knights, are saying that they shouldn't go overseas. It's just the timing of the tour. I mean, when you look at uh, what we've done this year and how much we've poured into this club to get it to where it is, from where it was, and then at the most critical time of the year to lose your top goal scorer for a tour of uh, Europe, uh, we just can't understand that. What about yourself, Les? You've had a listen to what uh, Angie and Mark have had to say. What are your thoughts? Because uh, I don't know if you've had a chance to talk to them the last couple of days. I think it's important that clubs uh, take an interest in what the national team is doing. I think we had an idea plan already for quite a while and in that plan it's always that we are going with the youth teams, we are leaving to go to Europe in March and we are going to South America always in October and November. And that plan has been there for a long, long time. Now, never in the history of Australian youth team football has any club ever complained about me taking an under-20 player. Why? Because those kids are 18 years of age. Uh, let's not forget uh, there were players like Ned Zelic, David Seal, Paul Ocon, just to name a few and never has there been any, com uh, been any complaint, uh, the national team must come first. Now, if clubs sit down and think 
when do we when can we take team survive and how many times do they have many players in the national uh, in the national youth team at this age now Mark Duca is something special uh, and Clint Bolton for the first time but we had Ocon we had Seal Seal was top goal scorer too he was in the youth team so it's important that we uh, we also uh, complement the ISF because Mark Viduka has been in the Institute of Sport for two years. The Institute of Sport spent about fifty or sixty thousand dollars on making him what he is now. Then he mm. went with the national team uh, to Venezuela. But the, the Knights will argue, and it's probably fair enough too, that Mark Viduka has been with the club since the age of six. So they have nurtured him all the way through and he was always a gifted player who uh, in one season scored 75 goals and 13 in one game and so on. So they'll say that they've had an investment in Mark Viduka as yeah, well. Yeah, don't, don't forget he scored uh, 36 or so and so many goals for the Institute of Sport. I think Mark, when he came there, he was a young, right, raw, talented season. player. Uh, he has improved uh, naturally with the experience he got in the NSL, playing against better players. Mike got a, a big future in the game, but I think what has happened to the young fellow there is simply that they're, they're confusing this young player with the publicity yeah. he's getting. They're putting him in a position where yeah. suddenly Mark Viduka is not what Mark Viduka is. He's, he's in, torn in between the club and between the National Soccer Federation. Mark, is there, is there too much uh, hype and uh, publicity surrounding your exploits, or are you a, a young man who's got? a lot of confidence in your own ability and you, you just take no notice of all the publicity? Uh, I'm confident in myself and um, uh, I mean all the publicity, I mean it's like a, a bonus, I don't really take much notice of it but um, I mean it's there, you have to live with it and um, just take it day to day. Yeah, I would, I, I would say Mark, uh, I think when you put your phone off the hook because people are pestering you every day, I think that's not a good start for a future, future national captain. I think uh, it takes uh, really a very experienced man to handle this at this stage. Don't forget Mark is only 18. I think he got so much in his favour in the future and I think he has been torn in between the media, between the ISF and the club and that should never happen to a young player like this at this stage. Angie, how do you react to those comments from Les? Uh, well, uh, sure. Uh, Les is putting Australia before everything, so are we. Believe me, nobody loves this country more than what I do. Uh, I can't be grateful enough for this country, what it's done for me and what it's done for my Croatian community. But the simple fact is, this is not a qualifier. This has got nothing to do with qualifiers. He's mentioned uh, a Ned Zelic or a, a David Seal. Uh, which player? Did David Seal, if you go back through the records, uh, was an automatic starter at 18 years old? Was he top goal scorer after missing five games already? Don't forget, Mark Viduka has missed five games because of the Venezuela tour. Now Mark Viduka is going to miss another four, which makes nine games. The kid is an automatic selection in our team. It's not a player who's fighting for a position. He's an automatic selection, which makes it a lot more difficult. Now to miss nine games this season and expect him to be top goal scorer, which he's still got a chance even if he misses the last four games, I mean, I think that's creating pressure on the kid itself. It's creating pressure on our team. Right from the start, we've gone and we've made the hard decisions and gone and brought in youth team players. Uh, that's been shown two or three weeks ago when six were called up for the national Oli Roos. Now, nobody in this country, no team has done more than what we have as far as young players. And is this the reward and this the thank you that we get? I think it's wrong. I'm Le sorry. Les, if I could ask you, I mean, 